On Saturday afternoon, the Ohio Bobcats opened up their 2019-2020 season here in the combo as they took on Walsh University. The fans came out to cheer on the Bobcats as they unveiled their WNIT banner and looked to make more history this season. The first half had Gabby Burris' hands all over it, leading the team in points, rebounds, and blocks. Burris is happy to be back on the court fully healthy this season after dealing with an ankle injury last year. It's really exciting. I just, I don't know, it felt like the season just ended honestly and we were just going back to another game, but it was really exciting. The time off and all the work we've put in as a team, it was just really fun to get back out there and start playing against somebody who's not each other, so it's really fun. Ohio had a nine-point lead going into the half, but in the second half, Walsh made it a ball game with all five Bobcat starters on the bench. The leader of the second unit that kept them in the game was Caitlin Kroll, scoring 16 of her 20 total points in the second half and played 31 minutes throughout the game. In the end, Ohio pulled away in the fourth quarter and won 83-77. to The nice thing about an exhibition is that you can get game reps and um, it's a learning tool. And, and you know, we, we obviously in the third quarter we fouled at an alarming rate. And, and that's a learning tool also. And you just take this and move forward and try to learn from it and do a little bit better on Tuesday. Ohio looks to build on their victory as they head to Syracuse to take on the Syracuse Orange on Tuesday for their season opener. From WOEB's Bobcat Showcase, I'm Curtis Fader.